Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on the MI Gardener channel. I'm so excited for this episode because I get asked all the time, Luke, how do you trellis your cucumbers? Or Luke, what's that trellis you're using for your cucumbers? Uh, so I wanted to talk about that, show you what we're using, show you how we're growing so that you can uh, kind of implement something similar in your garden because it's very effective, very cheap. And uh, isn't that what we're all about here? Effective and cheap. Um, so what I wanted to talk about first is the type of trellis we're using. This is a nylon netting trellis. Uh, it is one of the best ones we've found. We have it over on migardener.com. If you wanna check it out and support the show, go check it out and grab one yourself. Um, or you can probably find them, I would guess, at Lowe's and Home Depot, I'm not sure. Um, but this one has a lifetime warranty. So, wow, <laughs> that's awesome. So pretty much anything that happens to it, they're gonna replace it. So. I love that, um, but this is just a, a nylon netting. It stretches, it allows really good airflow. So I like it because it does not get hot like cattle panels. We used to use cattle panels, and I find that sometimes if the cucumber was resting on the cattle panel during the hot, hot sun, like right now it's almost 90 degrees, way hot for Michigan, but we do get those days. And on those days that cattle panel would heat up and it would cook the outside and you'd, get, you'd see burn marks, not burn marks, but uh, you know, like sunburn basically. On the, on the skin of the cucumbers and it would get soft and it would, and it would rot if you brought it inside for long periods of time. So I like this because it does not heat up. It just allows airflow to come through. And if it gets really hot, the, cu the cucumbers stay cool. So uh, you're not gonna be burning them. So come on in, check this out. Uh, I got one more tool here that we also sell on mygardener.com. It is a, uh, a C-clip. It's great for tomatoes as well as cucumbers. I use them for my cucumbers, um, but it would also be great for your tomatoes as well. I'm gonna show you how to use them. I'm gonna show you why we use them because there's uh, a couple tricks to using the C-clips uh, that we have here that will make your life so much easier. We've been using these for about four years now. They don't fade, they're UV resistant and uh, they don't crack in the sun. So that's why we use them and they're just really good quality. So check out what we got going on. I'll show you how we trellis up our cucumbers because they need it. All right, so the C-clip works a lot like a door hinge. It's got a hinge right in the center there, and it's got a locking pin on either side. So when you close it, it locks to make a beautiful circle. So what we wanna do is we want to grab our plants here. Notice how they're kind of just, a lot of times when you have trellising, whether it's cattle panel, whether it's just regular fencing, whether it's nylon fencing, the plants don't like to grab onto it that well. They kind of just kind of flop around like, you know, a wet rag. And I, I don't like that all that much because you want to keep them off the ground. It's so important to get good airflow through your plants. It keeps powdery mildew down. It keeps pests down. It keeps your plants off the ground where they're going to get eaten. There's so many reasons why you want them up. So uh, what we do is we get our plants as high as they'll go on the trellis, just like that. Really nice and high there. And what we want to do is we want to take our clip. We're going to put the twine right in that hinge. So we're going to remove that for now. We're going to put the twine right in the hinge like that. And we're going to close the hinge just enough to kind of pinch that, that wire. We're going to grab our plant and you want to go down to the nearest leaf node and pinch that. So see what that's done now is it's actually it's actually locked around the plant where the the plant can can you know it's it's free flowing it's not pinched so see see I'll try to show you that right there so see the plant can move up and down but because we have it locked around the the next leaf node it's going to kind of just hang there on that and it's not going to uh, you know it's not going to fall down any further. So one of the things that's nice about this is the fact that it allows the plant to blow in the wind. And if it happens to fall off, it's not gonna drop right through. If you rely on just the tendrils and you have a strong wind and the wind knocks it off the trellis, it's gonna be on the ground. There's no way to get it back up because the tendrils can't climb. I mean, they, it can climb, but uh, once it falls down, it's not going to say, oh, I gotta climb back up on the trellis. So it's hard to get it to go back up once, it's, once it has already fallen down. Now the next thing it does as well is it provides support where other stuff would not really provide. Because of the fact that it is a circle, it's actually going to hold the plant up in an upright position. And uh, it's going to get you to grow in the direction that you want. So let's say you have a lot of plants growing right next to each other. The plants are gonna be growing just about anywhere. 
but with using these, you can train them in, an, in a straight up pattern so you can grow more plants in a given space. And that's really what we do, is we grow about one plant every foot, believe it or not. And by using these clips, we're gonna keep them going straight up the trellis instead of going all over the place. So they're really great for, uh, for training them in a specific direction. Sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta wrestle with the plant to get it on, unknotted throughout this trellis it wants to it wants to start trellising but usually they'll fall through the holes on this nylon trellising and uh that's why that's why sometimes it's it's good to catch them while they're young but since we only come up here about every week week and a half uh, sometimes they get a little bit untamed so we're going to just do it again here just going to put it through the, the the crack in the in the string and another thing that i forgot to mention that i want to make a note of is the fact that once you once you click it in place this is not going to move see how you can't pull the string down because it cinches it in that truck in the uh in that hinge it's not going to slide up and down here so you're never going to lose any ground once you clip it in place and it's around the plant it's actually there so the plant no matter how much weight it has it's going to pull the trellis before it pulls the you know before it pulls the plant down so uh that's just another little friendly tip for you there that's gonna help you out trellis your cucumbers straight up to the sky. So there you go, hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you will try this method. Regardless of you know what you do, I would suggest going uh, vertical because you can grow just so much more food in such a little space. And I love that about it, I absolutely love it. So uh, give it a shot, grow vertically, and give this, this nylon netting and the C-clips a try. It is the way to go. I've been doing it for four years now, and I simply can't go back to any other way. I tried growing them on the ground before, about half of them got eaten. They're all misshapen. Uh, I've tried I've tried without the C-clips, and they were just it basically defeated the purpose of having the trellis. So those two together is the MI Gardener uh, suggested method of growing, and uh, I love it. So, all right, hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you all learned something new. Hopefully you all are growing bigger going home, and I will talk to you all later. This is Luke from the MI Gardener channel. See ya. Bye.